True or false? You can see the Great Wall of China from space. Hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are talking about can you see the Great Wall of China from space? Well, first off, how big is this wall? Well, it was mostly built between 1368 to 1644 during the Ming Dynasty. So it's 21,197 kilometers long, which is about 13,171 miles. It's a really long wall. All right, that's almost five times the width of the United States from California to Maine. It's huge. Well, on average, what about the width? It's eight to 10 meters wide, with the widest spot being 16.7 meters or 54.8 feet. In 1754, a man by the name of William Stuckley said that you would be able to see the wall from the moon. And that was said again in 1895 by Henry Newman. Now remember though, humans didn't go into space until 1961 or land on the moon until 1969. So these statements were made about 200 years before that. Now, what is from space? Well, space starts at 100 kilometers, but we don't orbit there. So we like to say from space is from the International Space Station, or the ISS. Now the ISS orbits at 400 kilometers and the moon is much further at 384,000 kilometers. So do you think you can see a 21,000 kilometer long wall that's only about 10 meters wide from space at 400 kilometers? at 384,000 kilometers? Well, China sent its first astronaut into space in 2003, and he gave us an answer. Yang Liwei said he could not see it. And other astronauts have confirmed this as well by saying it's not visible with the naked eye. Did you guess right? Well, it is one of the biggest incorrect myths. So if you can't see it from the ISS at 400 kilometers, you definitely cannot see it from the moon. Apollo 12 astronaut Alan Bean said, the only thing you can see from the moon is a beautiful sphere, mostly white, some blue and patches of yellow, every once in a while some green vegetation. He also firmly said that no human made object is visible at that scale. But someone on the internet did some math and said that you would have to have 17,000 times better vision to see the Great Wall of China from the moon. So, which one of you has that superpower of supervision? Huh? We'll send you to the moon and see if it checks out. Okay, okay, but you can actually kinda see the Great Wall of China from the ISS if you have a camera with a great zoom and the weather conditions are favorable. It's still really hard to see because the material that it's made out of is the same color and texture as the surrounding area. So it just kind of like blends in. And this is the best image we have. And that's because it was a sunny day with a recent snowfall. Lastly, what can we actually see from space? A lot of astronauts talk about the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. We can also see Palm Island in Dubai, the greenhouses of Almeria, Spain, the Brigham Kennecott copper mine in Utah and cities at night because of the lights. Now some incredible natural landscapes we can see from space are the Grand Canyon, the Himalayas, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, and the Amazon River. Now on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of what is the only planet to spin on its side is C. Uranus. This week's question is, what is the only planet to spin backwards? Is it A, Venus, B, Earth, C, Jupiter, or D, Neptune? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious. Hold up, you're not done yet. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, I'd like to thank all of our future supporters on Patreon. You can become a member and support A Place Called Space for as little as 25 cents a video. It's just a quarter. Patreon supporters get shout outs, can submit video ideas, and you'll be able to join me once a month for a live Q&A. Please check out the link below and consider joining our Patreon.